Welcome to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. And for this video, we're going to look at the sheep eyeball. This is the outside of the sheep eyeball. In the front, we have the cornea. The white part is the sclera. The conjunctiva, if I grab my forceps, I can kind of pull on some of this tissue out here. This softer, very fle more flexible tissue is called the conjunctiva. Conjunctiva. On the back of the eye, we should be able to make out the optic nerve, and on this sheep's eye, it's right here. I'm going to try and dissect around it and get off all of this extra fat and muscle tissue that we see. The eyeball has a lot of fat tissue behind it. It does in humans as well, and that's there to um, allow the eyeball to move inside of its socket a bit. So if you are struck in the eye, the eyeball doesn't get too damaged, it just moves. start trimming this tissue away and I'm starting back by the optic nerve to help make sure I don't cut the optic nerve more than it's already cut. It's quite short on this eyeball. I've found one of the most efficient ways to do this is to hold those thick tissues and grab a pair of scissors and just trim that tissue. The muscles that you see here are extrinsic eye muscles. It's really kind of difficult to make out which one's which. So if I ask for muscles on these sheep eyes, all you'd have to say is extrinsic muscles. I've reflected as much of the tissue I can away from here. This isn't a real good one, but this thing that sticks out of the back of the eye is the optic nerve. Now let's do a dissection. I have two eyes here and first what I'm going to do is the standard um, transverse section of the eyeball and for the second eye I'm going to do a frontal section. So first I'll start with the transverse. I'm going to start right at the cornea this time with my scalpel much easier to do with the scissors. And now I have a top and a bottom part to the eye. Because it's showing itself so quickly, I'm going to quick pull up here and show you this really delicate tissue that looks kind of tan is the retina. You can also see on my hand pigment molecules. There are a lot of dark pigment molecules towards the back of the eye and they tend to come out when you do dissection. Other things you can see, um, here's that clear front cornea. Behind it is this round thing. It's the lens. And wrapped around the lens is part of the ciliary body here, that dark ring. And this really goopy stuff is the vitreous. I'm going to see if I can clean up this dissection a little bit. Cornea, lens, optic, ner optic nerve leaving the eye. Oops, down here, sorry, optic nerve. You can see the really darkly pigmented choroid layer and you can see the white sclera layer on the outside. Woo. Um, in my class if I ask for retina 
let me remove this lens. I'm just going to put the lens down. Ooh, and that exposes the choroid or the ciliary body. If you can see, this eye still has some good retina towards the back of it. And you might be able to see these blood vessels going back to what is the optic disc where the optic nerve leaves the eye. If I pinch it up and pull it off, you'll see I'm peeling off the retina. And I will usually have the retina kind of separated like this, lying on the on a towel or on the dissection tray. That's retina. And underneath it is this dark choroid layer. Sheep actually have a reflective region on the back of their eye that humans do not have. And this reflective region helps them to see in the dark better than we can. I think those are all the major parts for the sheep eye. As always, if there's any questions, comments, please feel free to call me. Thank you again for watching.